Jessica Simpson is revealing it all in a new memoir, including her battle with alcohol and pills. She says she's been sober for more than two years now, but it wasn't easy admitting publicly for the first time that she was sexually abused when she was six by a family friend's daughter. She writes, it would start with tickling my back and then go into things that were extremely uncomfortable. I wanted to tell my parents I was the victim, but somehow I felt in the wrong. She says she told her parents when she was 12, her mother Tina had suspected something was happening. She says she never stayed at the family friend's house again, but her father Joe said nothing and they never talked about it again. Wow. Again, Erica, um, you know, we look on Instagram and we see Jessica Simpson and we see someone that we all ideally want to emulate. And we forget that sexual abuse, addiction does not discriminate. And when we see these people's highlight reels on their social media, we never get the full picture. But here it is. Well, I have to commend Jessica Simpson because she was approached to write a motivational book five years ago, and she said that she didn't feel right about writing it because she isn't a great liar, and she felt like she was covering a lot of things up. Wow. And to that point, you know, in a society where we curate so much of our lives to make it look like everything is perfect, and she could easily do that, she decided to go the route of being transparent. And I think, in a way, that's a very emancipating decision um, so I commend her for it I think in terms of the sexual abuse and I think a lot of parents need to hear this message when your child comes to you and articulates which is the hardest thing to say someone that you may have trusted was not someone that you should have trusted and I am suffering because of that do not just say nothing respond with something and hopefully respond with something in the affirmative which is going to give your child at least a little bit of comfort in knowing that you hear them and you are you're having sympathy for what they're going through while next deciding to eat that pain yourself because I know it's very difficult for parents to hear that. But the worst thing you can do is just ignore it. And I'm not trying to diminish her or her father's response, but I do think it's important for parents to understand that. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because we do have a full screen here because to Erica's point, if you can utilize resources right then and there, you can statistically help that person recover. You can help them heal. You can help give them the tools so that they do not turn to self-destructive behaviors. So to anybody watching right now that is going through it, you suspect that your child is going through it. If your child just came to you, please utilize that service number because it will give you all the resources. You are not alone. You are not.